Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your April 2018 general reading. Um, thank you to all who have subscribed, requested personal readings. Um, <clears throat> hit me up on Instago. Instago. Oh, anyway, I'm not even going to go there. Um, if you have a question or, or whatever, just a question you want to ask me on, you can find me on Instago. My uh, link is below in the description box. Um, also, if you just want to ask one question, just email me. I think it, uh, I'll make one question. I think one question is $15. And I think on Instago you pay $20. Uh, I'm not sure. So anyhow, either way you want to do it, however you, your, your life is set up, okay? Um, find me on Instago. Uh, find me on Instagram. My handles are below. Um, <clears throat> but I'll save all that for the end. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. So I'll give the cards a quick shuffle and then we get started. So let's start with Libra love. Let's start with Libra and love. What are the love messages for Libra? Thank you for true, accurate messages for Libra. This one wanted to fly out of the deck. We'll take it. The fair lit. Or, or, yeah. Fair for lit? Okay, whatever. Don't, don't do that. Don't y'all do that. Um, <laughs> it's the temperance card. Um, it talks about balance. Um, having the masculine and the feminine in the feminine um, equal parts knowing when to draw from either side so I guess you guys are trying to learn that balance you know here um, some of my Libras are and, and getting your emotions back in balance some of you are out of whack uh, I'm hearing uh, spirit is helping you with this too it's almost like they're speaking into your ear at times telling you when to, you know, be a little bit more feminine, when to be a little bit more masculine. All right, so uh, that's that. And that's in the heart of the reading. Let's see what crosses it. Two of Swords. All right, makes sense. You're going to have to draw in on that feminine and that masculine energy to make a decision. Libras, I'm going to tell you like this. Okay, um... Y'all don't like making decisions. Y'all are the most indecisive people ever. Like, seriously. Especially a, a tough decision. Oh, my gosh. Y'all will stall, stall, stall. But I get it. You know, a lot of my Libras have big hearts and whatnot. They want to make sure everybody, you know, comes out on top, including them. Um, but you know a decision needs to be made. And this is um, this is Sun and Libra with the two of swords. So this is definitely you. And you're having to find balance emotional balance here with the temperance card draw on that masculine feminine feminine energy what's good and what's bad here two of swords crosses uh the temperance card some of you could be dealing with the sagittarius all right um so you know a decision needs to be made but at, at the two of swords you're still in your head about it a decision has not been made the basis for all of this is around work what are you going to do around work? Are you, maybe you're working too much or you're putting too much work into a certain project or uh, you want to work less, you want to change how you work or something about work or school. You have to make a decision. Are you going to continue school, going to continue being an apprentice, internship here? For some of you, are you going to continue teaching? All right, let's see. What's the energy for the present? All right, the present is the five of pentacles. Uh, so you're feeling lack, either monetarily or you're just feeling like left out of a situation. Or you just yeah, you're you're not feeling whole monetarily or emotionally. So five of pentacles. This is you in the present. There's a lot of work going on, but you don't feel like you're seeing the fruits of, of your labor, of your hard labor. In the past, the recent past, what's the recent past? The Seven of Pentacles. You were looking at something that you invested in or you invested in something and you're waiting for it to harvest. 
the way to pull you see this guy he's you know pruning the trees he's plucking you know you were waiting to be able to prune the trees you waiting to be able to pluck from from your tree uh and you may still be waiting uh this is the recent past we got the eight so from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles it looks like you feel like you're doing a lot of work or putting a lot of energy into a certain situation project work relationship uh family dynamic and you just are not seeing the um the fruit of it not it's not manifesting in your favor what's the near future for libra near future for libra near future for libra the fool all right so you're gonna chart a new path a new development you're gonna take a risk a leap of faith in a new uh into something new or some of you because the fool is looking back at the cards as i'm looking at it some of you are going to choose to still manifest here still put your time and energy into something but you're going to be you're going to wipe the slate clean with it with, with your with your thinking about it um, you'll make the choice to either chart a new path completely to a source here or you're going to make the decision to just keep going with it you know and to see and to see it out I think because there's more than just you involved in this decision. All right. And all oh, nice. Your power is the wheel of fortune. All right. So the wheel is always turning for us. Um, it's just a matter of what you put out. Hopefully you've put out good. So good comes back. Whatever good may be to you. You define that. Um, but you have the wheel of fortune and it's in your power. So things, what's happening now, firstly, is destined to happen. So you can't get away from that. It was destined to play out in this manner. And now the wheel is turning in your favor. It looks like you put out and exerted a lot of energy, a lot of work, Libra. So that wheel is turning. So it might be some good stuff coming for you in the near future. That's your power, the will of fortune. It's, what it's saying is, is the will of fortune is in your power, saying that, you know, you know that you've done right, you've done good. It's coming back to you. Now it's time for it to return to you. You know, karma, uh, what goes around comes around. The will of fortune, that was where that, that saying pretty much comes from. So be in an air of expectancy because it's coming. All right, and uh, what's external to Libra? The Hermit. Maybe a Virgo, somebody dealing with a Virgo. If not a Virgo, someone has gone within. Someone's very spiritual. Someone is um, being self-reflective. Um, they're not just thinking about, I'm here, they're not just thinking about themselves, which is a good thing. And that's external to you. Someone's being a hermit. Someone's being a hermit. All right. Hopes and fears. The magician. Nice. Definitely a hope. To manifest the outcome, the desired outcome of your heart. That's great. It looks like you're going to do it. You get the wheel and the magician here in, in two really good places. All right. And what's the outcome for Libra? What's the outcome for Libra? What's the outcome for Libra? So this could be love or, or work, guys. You you have to um, decide that. All right, three cards fell out, but they all fell out upright. I don't take cards that fall out upright. And it was three, so let's keep going. What's the desired outcome for Libra? Desired outcome for Libra. Desired outcome for Libra. Nice. Ace of Cups. A blessing, an emotional fulfilling an emotional fulfilling blessing from the heavens this could be the new start in love new start in friendship um it could be an emotional new start in in your how you do your work you put a lot of work into something or someone and what did i tell you it's coming back to you tenfold i'm just gonna pull one more card what's the ace what is the ace of cups what's the ace of cups Cups for Libra. 
Ace of Cups for labels. Ace of Cups for labels. Okay. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Some of you feel mentally, you get some real, you don't see a way out. But what, but the Queen of Swords or Queen of Pentacles sitting, I think this is you, Libra. You don't see a way out of a certain situation. You can't think your way out of, you can't think um, of a new development in. But what the Queen of Pentacles sitting on the Eight of Swords is saying is that you're going to make a solid, firm uh, decision, because the decision is right here in the heart of the reading, um, as to what to do right now you're like you're the eight of swords it's, it's where you, you're stagnant and you're stuck and you think okay well maybe I should do X Y and Z but no if I do X Y and Z then and it's like you just keep going in a circle with the eight of swords eights are are the wheel you know you're on that you're on the uh, the fairs the merry-go-round you know with the eight um, so you just can't see a way out here. But with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're going to make a solid decision. It's just that you have to really sit with your thoughts, really uh, weigh things out. I don't see the Two of Pentacles here, but uh, weigh things up, weigh it out, and it looks like you're going to make a solid decision um, that takes you to the Queen of Pentacles, or you already are. Wow, and then the Lady, the Empress, definitely Libra. Um, she's creative. She's abundant. She's she has it all um, under control. She rules all the queens. Nice, Libra. Right now, you don't see a way out of a certain situation, or you don't see how to turn it around. Is what I'm trying to say. But it looks like you want to make a solid decision with the Queen of Pentacles, either you or someone else, um, and you're going to turn this thing around. Um, because you come out as the lady or the emperor. You come out abundant, beautiful, radiant, secure. All right? So that's good. Let's get some. We'll do career and finance. I don't know. That felt like career and finance. It could be a relationship for some of you. But in general readings, whatever comes up is what comes out. So whatever. Uh, career and finance messages for labor. Career and finance messages for labor. Career and finance messages for labor. The Ten of Club. Uh, in the playing cards deck, the Ten of Club talks about unexpected money, good luck, good fortune. We did have the Wheel of Fortune there for us in the last read. All right. Okay, nine... Nine of Club, King of Club, you got a lot of fire energy. New boyfriend, new girlfriend, secret admirer, could be a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, nice. Um, or you've been through a lot in a certain situation with the Nine of Clubs, you're evaluating it. Maybe you're a business owner, entrepreneur, with the King of Clubs, King, Queen of Diamonds keeps Coming. came out in the last break, Queen of Pentacles. Making solid decisions, motherly, um, four of diamond, large sum of money, winning the lotto. It's, it's coming to you, Libra, like you put a lot of work into something, it's coming to you. It looks good, it looks great. I'm excited for you. Three of spades, but not without separation, divorce, caution and relationship. Eight of Diamond, um, travel, marriage, later in life, uh, up and down financially, but it, it levels out eventually. Seven of Club, Seven of Heart, Ace of Spade, unfaithful spouse, broken promises, ending, new beginning, transformation. Now, we didn't get much love in the last spread. This might be love for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. 
Capricorn Virgo Taurus water sign or another air sign but if you are it, it looks like things are coming to an end because there's some infidelity um, <clears throat> broken promises and um, either things need to transform or just end all right let's see what else we got for Libra career and finance but it looks like the cards want to tell us about love six of spades um, making achievements over small burdens so it's almost like moving away from small burdens you know getting away from the, the choppy waters going into a more calm placid time you've, you've made achievements over such seven of spades wow it just gets progressive here with the seven of spades um so loss of friendship um loss of burden to carry so you're moving away from it and you're, and you're just putting down that burden it could be another air sign gemini libra aquarius or this is just your energy also someone could be kind of a sneak a liar a cheat or you could just be moving away from a certain situation uh in silence uh behind you know making your devising your own plan to move away from all right yeah change of journey change of home so you could just be de devising your own plan to move away from a certain situation you know you no longer want to be in it a uh, new marriage new love with the five of club seven of club Psychic abilities are heightened here. Some of you are very spiritual, very in tune. Psychic abilities are heightened against the opposite sex. But prosperity and um, forward movement is here also. You know, your psychic abilities are heightened toward the opposite sex and you're a little bit defensive here. You're definitely dealing with a fire sign nine of club right um new boyfriend new girlfriend new development um or secret admirer also or you've just been through a lot in a certain situation for a state some of you may be dealing with some illness or someone around you is dealing with illness um needing to take a break a rest from a certain situation all right Okay, Libra. So that was love. And then the other one was career and finance. Thank you, cards. <laughs> they do what they want to do and not what we want them to do. All right, let's get some additional advice, some messages for Libra, and we'll close out. Three cards of advice for Libra. 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 Because of it, nice for me. I'm not getting anything yet. Three cards of advice for Libra. Three cards of advice for. Three cards of advice for Libra. All right. Self-employment. I saw that moving. I did see that too. Finances. Wow. Alright, so uh self employment moving finances, these are such self explanatory cards. Um if you're thinking about self employment, the cards say yes. Or if you're thinking about self employment in the terms of should I continue? I'm here, should I continue? I haven't pulled a card on that. Some of you are moving, moving away from turbulent times, either physically, literally, but you're moving. You're moving. Um, some of you could be just physically moving. Uh, finances are at play. A lot of times when we see this card, we automatically think negative or negatively. Um, finances can mean, like we saw, a large sum of money, unexpected money. Um, Libra... I want you to think positive, self-employment and finances, two really good cards. Um, 
be aware that um, you're on the right path if you're here, if I'm speaking to you or I'm speaking of something that you want to engage in. The cards are, are backing you in this self-employment. Um, either you are or you want to be. So you have to make the decision, and we saw that in the first spread. What are you going to do? Are you going backwards or are you going forward with it? Are you going to stay in it or are you going to get out of oh, finances? Do um, take precedence here. Uh, some of you could be moving. Oh, wow. And at the bottom of the deck, changing your mind. Some of you had your mind made up about a certain situation, uh, but you're changing your mind now. Okay. All right. So, Libra, if this resonated with you, please. Okay. I'm feeling. All right. Okay. All right. So, I'm I was led to pull a card on self-employment. Self-employment. What should Libra know about self-employment? Self-employment. Self-employment. What should Libra know about self-employment? Queen of Hearts. Listen to your intuition. Ten of Spades. Um... Low energy, disappointment, uh, being backed into a corner. I'll pull one more red diamond. Partnership. Could be legal problems, partnership. Listen to your intuition. What it what what is your heart? What is your mind telling you? Your heart and your mind have to be aligned so you can make the right decision. You may have felt like in the in the past, this is a ten of space. I don't think it's happening now, but in the past, you felt like this was a bad decision. It brought nothing but disappointment. I'm hearing disappointment here. You might need to think about partnership. Bottom of the deck. Oh, nine of nine of hearts. Wish fulfillment. Whatever you're wishing for, whatever you're hoping for, is coming to pass, Libra. We saw that in the first spread too. Um, all your hard work is going to pay off. I think you're just freaking out. Um, all the hard work is going to pay off. Uh, listen to your intuition. Some of you are either clairvoyant, psychic, tarot card readers. Um, something about that that funnels in with self employment. Y'all tell me what it is, okay? Anyway, if this resonated with you, Libra like share comment subscribe to the channel all of it's much appreciated uh what else what else all of my information of how to reach me including pricing is below just send me an email or follow me on Instagram. what that rhyme um instagram handles are below follow me there uh that's about it this is where i am with it leave <laughs> anyhow Libra, I'll see you in the mid-April readings, okay? Take care, guys. Remember, when in doubt, pray. I am praying for you guys, so y'all better pray for me, too. All right, take care, guys.